So that's that means out of the three attorneys, one is paid by the seller, two are paid for by the purchaser. And then lastly, the transfer duty itself. Transfer duty is a tax that is payable on property. There's different types of taxes that are payable on, on property. There's rates and taxes by Manga, by, by I said, I almost said Manga, I forgot we are now um, have a, a worldwide audience. So by the local authorities. So there's also other tax, capital gains tax, many other taxes, but the one that is always applicable is the transfer duty. Now, every year you are correct. Every year during a budget speech, the minister stands of finance there and speak. And all of us who are in the, in the property thing, the main thing we want to hear is how much is the, um, the roof for um, transfer duty? When do you start tra paying transfer duty? So for the past seven, eight years, they've been increasing the amount that is transfer duty free, meaning you are not supposed to pay, trans to pay transfer duty. However, that must be still confirmed by SARS. So currently, the amount is standing at 1 million rent on the dot. If the property you are purchasing is 1 million on the dot or below, you are then not liable to pay a transfer duty because then it is within what has been exempt, exempted by SARS already. 1 million and 1 rent or 1 cent for that matter, you start paying transfer duty on a sliding scale. When we did that webinar, we even showed the table that SARS uses to calculate that scale. Now, the transferring attorney, who is the central person, has to submit that transaction to SARS. For SARS to say, or for SARS rather, to issue a transfer duty certificate. Whether the certificate is exempting you because the property is below 1 million, or then the, the, the transfer duty you, they, is payable, and then you get the certificate after it's been paid. So that is how these things work. All of them come to play. The transfer duty, the transferring fees for the attorney, the bond registration fees. So as a purchaser, you pay those three fees. And those are the three fees that I was referring to when I was saying when you buy at the right price, you buy 10% below to accommodate these fees. So that if you were to sell the property tomorrow, let's say that property is worth 1 million and you only bought for 900 and you want to sell the following day, you can still put it up 1 million because you had bought for 900 and the cost that you, ex that you spent on the transfer will be included. You will get them back with your 1 million. And that's the basic logic that we work with it. Uh, it is very simple and straightforward how we recommend things to be done.